In this video, I'm going to explain the ins and outs of incognito mode in Google Chrome. I'm going to cover situations where it can be useful, and I'm going to explain all the steps of entering into incognito mode, using it, and then exiting back out again. So how do you start and end an incognito session? Well, the easiest way in any browser on Windows is to press Control, Shift, and N, or on Mac to press Command, Shift, and N. Alternatively, on both Mac and Windows, you could go to the three little dots at the top right of the browser and then select New Incognito Window. You are now in incognito mode. The window that pops up is your incognito session. And you can use this window like a normal browsing window. You can open up multiple tabs, you can move it around on your computer, and just browse the internet like normal. Everything that you do will be cleared as soon as you end your incognito session. So how do you end the session? Just close the window. It is that simple. You are now out of incognito mode. Now, there are a few important things to note when using incognito mode. First of all, you can still browse normally while browsing in incognito. So you can have your incognito window up, and then you can have a normal browsing window at the same time. So you can use both accounts simultaneously, one in an incognito window and one in a normal browsing window. Also, although your browsing history and searches won't be saved while you're in incognito mode, you'll still see saved searches and browsing history from your normal sessions. So if you're in incognito and you go up to the address bar and you see some websites auto-filling, don't worry, those are from your normal browsing sessions. If you wanna clear your browsing history from your normal sessions, you can always go up to the three little dots, go to more tools, and then clear browsing history. In regards to privacy, incognito mode does a great job of making sure that there isn't any information stored on your computer from your browsing session. However, when you're browsing the internet, your IP address can still be tracked, and Incognito doesn't block that. You would need a proxy server for that. For most users, this isn't an issue, but I just want to give you all of the details so that you know what Incognito does and doesn't do. One last thing to note is that because you're not saving cookies and site data when using Incognito, if you're logging into accounts that require two-factor authentication, so accounts that require either a text or an email confirmation, you will have to go through that two-factor authentication every single time you log in in Incognito mode. This isn't really a limitation of Incognito mode, it's just a side effect of private browsing when you're not storing that information. So do be aware of that if you are going to be using Incognito mode to log into multiple accounts. So there you have it. That is pretty much everything that you need to know about using incognito mode in Google Chrome and private browsing on the internet in general. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you wanna see more guides and tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.